Sometimes we don't know what's going to happen until the storm actually hits. And this is the worst I've ever seen. I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a member of the Blue Party. I'm not a member of the Green Party. I'm a soldier. And, and I'm here to help people. The people here need help. Uh, and we're going to give them all the help that we can. Right now, where we're having the biggest problems are in the interior of the island. And it's because of roads. We, the roads are now clear on the out, outside of the island, and we're slowly working our way in. Uh, but, but we obviously need to get all the roads cleared so we can get supplies to people who desperately need them. There are 69 hospitals total in the island, and about 16 are back on regular electrical power. All the rest that are running, uh, which is you know, the majority of them, but not all, are running on generator power. So what, would you, what do we need to do? In the short term, we need to keep providing fuel and generator maintenance so that we can keep those hospitals up and running. But in the long term, what we really need to do is fix the electrical line so we can get them all back on the grid. The people of Puerto Rico are, are going to be very resilient. And that's we're going to need them to be resilient so that they can help rebuild this, this commonwealth and make it, make it what it really should be. Um, but uh, there is going to be some parts where we're going to have to start from scratch. 